Today's tale of the Raven Company sees them return to Seedorf and they talk with the Guildmaster to gain their 450 crowns. Crowns well deserved, lads. Well deserved. Unfortunately, they had lost a man in the field. Well, no, they hadn't lost him so much as uh, he wasn't walking the finest anymore. He was no longer walking the finest. I feel like we should possibly pick up another pitchfork so that we can have a few more defenders on the back line. Alright, lads. We are going to head on down to Konekwasa. They traveled across the plains. They didn't like the road, so they just ran for it merrily across Golden Valley. Payday came. Each payday was a hundred crowns. Fairly expensive. Konegwasa had new men. Had new men. A gambler. Sir, are a gambler. Well, lads, I feel uh, we should see if we can get some better items. Hmm. We are down two shields. You, sir? Otto? Or you, sir? You, sir, are not very good at all. Not very good at all. Bernard the Brave? Alright, Bernard the Brave. You will join our back lines. Prepare your pitchfork. There. Get your shield back. Wilram, how are you doing? I feel, uh... You possibly need Colossus to help you not be so destroyed. Some melee skill. Some defense. And some health for you, my lad. It's the order of the day. Another Colossus. Some health for you, sir. Colossus all round, lads. Colossus all round. Unfortunately, to your melee skill, it's not going up much. But it'll do. It'll do. Is it health for you? And fence. Alright, lads. You're starting to look a bit more like a professional company. I... Ah, my man. You are not very good, my friend. And not very good. Well, get your shield. Oof. Get your cheap shield. Cheap shield for you, my man. If you'll, uh... Possibly do with some better equipment for some of you boys. Some hats. Hats, lads. Let us see. A hat for you, my friend. A lemon tunic. Well, a hat for you, my friend. You could probably do with a little bit of better armor, I feel. A sack cloth, hmm. Well, for starters, you can have that. And then... I feel like you, sir, could probably be better than this man. You appear to be better than this man. I feel like you could possibly do with some... Reasonable... Armor. Ah, we should also sell our... Ring. 
and that cloth that we have gained. Bring that cloth. Alright, lads. Someone can get another champion. Let us sell some of this junk that we have acquired. Much junk has been acquired. Alright, lads. Who's up for a Gambian? Who indeed? Hmm. Well, you, sir, are uh, well worth protecting. And finally, that will do. That will do, lads. That will do. Let us see what fine battles we can go on. Bertolf, the guildmaster, looked solemnly at the ground and fills a scroll showing you a face. <sighs> a bandit at large who we captured the other day. He once led an outfit of vagrants. They used to harry and raid our town. Day and night. What are you prepared? Hmm. I want more in advance. Ninety crowns. Jesus. That was unfortunate. We pushed the man too far. Pushed him too far. Yeah. You're not looking so well. Well, lads. Let us travel. Let us travel too. Let's try Crumhorn. Try our luck at Crumhorn. We have enough provisions for two days. Two days, lads. Two days. They traveled warily through the marsh towards Crumhorn. They were hoping for a good contract for their food supplies were beginning to run low. They made haste along the plains. It was dawn so the shops would be open for them. Lads, let us see what is here. Move on in. Our contract, thank the Lord. Hmm. Lads, we don't need any of that. We may purchase a little bit more food. Just, uh,. So we do not starve. Let us see what contract can be had. Cell swords, thank you for coming. There's cargo that has been delivered. The man the name is waiting for it. I do not believe the task will be easy, because the cargo is rather precious. Hmm. Hmm. Let us talk money. Ah. We'll take your 400 crowns. Deliver the cargo to the world in Zigu. I accept. Alright, lads. So, pick up a little bit more food and prepare to leave. Where is Sigwald? Where indeed? To the west. Ah, there it is. Alright, lads. Let us travel. It's a mighty far distance. Mighty far distance. 
You're slowly healing up, my friend. From your grievous wounds. Off we go, lads. Out into the wilds. Hmm. Hopefully it does not cost us more to travel there. Than we receive. Never fear. But we will see if we can gain employment. At the winery of Seagull. Along the way. So, the way I see it, nobody knows about Raven Company yet. We don't want to hunt ragtag bands through the woods forever. But just as weapons we continue. The High Lords, eh? The High Lords. He pauses for a short moment and then adds another thought. Guild masters and councilmen running the villages in town. They too have good money. We depend on them to hire us. But having some friends along the way may help. It may indeed, my friend. It may indeed. But you know what would help? Is getting to Sigal. So that we can be paid. Ooh, through the dangerous woods we travel at night too. It's a wee bit scary. A wee bit scary. Never fear, for we are the Raven Company. We do not fear. We possibly might all die though. A little scary. Into the pine forest we moved. We'd been traveling for around a day. And we'd seen no issues yet. Bandit raiders had been spotted. In fact, ooh, we moved to avoid them. But it was too late. We'd been surrounded. To arms! To arms! You riffraff! Damn a riffraff. Tally ho. Hmm. You lads can come to us. Come to us. I say. Yes. Yes, you fools. Come in. Prepare to get slaughtered. Shield wall, my friend. But they look rough. They look like a rough sort. Not much money to them. Never fear. Never fear. Feel, uh. Feel like this is our chance. Lad, back up this side. Fire! <laughs> Pierced his side. Excellent work. Excellent work. Prepare yourself, lads. Prepare wisely. They are coming. They are coming. Hmm. Here they come. Defend yourself. Good defense, lad. Ooh. You've been chopped. Let's hold out. Hold out. The X Man has cometh. Ooh. <coughs> Deal with this man. <coughs> Excellent work. <coughs> Excellent work. No shield for you, fool.
Damn you and your shield. Finish him off. He gets. He gets. Down with him. Down with him. The fools. This axe man scares me. <laughs> Off with his head. Good work. Good work. You've pierced this man as well. Excellent. Jean, I'm afraid for you. I'm afraid for you, lad. How will you fare? Excellent. Jean, you've done it. Thank the Lord. Mm, Bernard, I expected better things from you. Very, very disappointed, my friend. Nicely done. All right, Bajan. Do it. You swung with all your might. It was not enough. <laughs> Off with that fool's head. And move in. Move in. <laughs> Lads, we need to move up a lot quicker. Save our... Men, save them quickly. Mm. No, thank you. Do your best, Tostig. Do your best. That is not your best, Tostig. That is not your best. I am sorely disappointed. him out. You've pierced his leg muscle. Excellent. Prepare for battle, man. Oh, pierced his leg muscle too. Off with your head, fool, for your insolence. Insolent cur. Beat him down. Beat him down. You're surrounded, fool. There's no way out. No way out. Shield up. Show this fool what for. Fool. Oof. Cut his chest. Again! Ah. Uh, what more can we ask? You must survive, Tostig. You must survive. This thug. He's taking everything we are throwing at him. But we surrounded him. And we destroyed him. You foolish thugs. We have dispatched you, and we will take your money and your shields. Another victory for the Raven Company had been had. We had survived, nobody had lost their lives, and many of the men now felt a little better about themselves. Tune in next time for the Raven Company, and see if they make it to their destination, or if they'll fall to another group of bandits. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button, or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.